Number 10. Revelations The Demon Slayer This game is one of the many Megami Tensei spin-offs from the last Bible series. I think it's the only one localized, but I could be wrong. Originally released in 1992 for the Game Boy, then remade for the Game Boy Color in 1999. That is the version we got. It's not a great RPG to be honest, considering its huge encounter rate and its tarnished story. But gameplay-wise, well, it's a Tensei title and as such, it delivers a cool but dark plot, neat battle system and of course the classic demon negotiation. Number 9. Evolution – The World of Sacred Device It's a turn-based RPG with some strong science fiction elements. It tried to start its own franchise back in the Dreamcast, but fell victim to its demise like many other games. It also got a sequel the next year and then both went on to become one title on the GameCube. Still, it didn't hold its fort and went down. Nevertheless, it remains as a charming piece of history and one of the best JRPGs of 1999. Number 8. Thousand Arms Speaking about charm and all, here is a really cool comedy, one of those games that barely takes itself seriously. It's another turn-based RPG, but this one with a really original battle system. Only one character can fight against the enemy, while the other party members do all the healing or buffing. It's really cool and I don't think I've ever seen something like this before. It also includes a dating simulator with several different girls, based on funny conversations. Overall, it's a hidden gem on the PlayStation and one of the best JRPGs of this year. Number 7. Lunar – The Silver Star Story Complete I already covered this game in the 1993 video, but it had to be here again for one simple reason. This is the version most people played. An enhanced port localized by Walking Designs in a limited edition. Some argue it is actually the best version of this game considering its many ports on several different systems. In any case, it's a solid game to never forget. Number 6. Legend of Legaia A criminally underrated game and yet another turn-based RPG with a unique battle system. It's all about the three main characters and their different combinations of attacks. It also belongs to another attempted franchise that failed for many different reasons, including an unsuccessful sequel on the PS2. However, this game will forever remain praised within the written pages in the history of role-playing games. Number 5. Grandia Yet another start of a dead franchise nowadays, a personal beginning for many gamers out there. Charm the heck out of them with its charismatic cast of characters in their colorful world. Also with a great battle system played in turns, but with a very original touch of manipulating the water. Great music, great story, definitely among the absolute best JRPGs of 1999. Number 4. Final Fantasy VIII After the ginormous success of Final Fantasy VII, the world was expecting the next major title in the series. It was then when the fans met this weird game quickly becoming a commercial success. I remember it being so loved, but criticized for its focus on the romance and its convoluted battle mechanics. I still love this game nowadays, even though it's considered to be more of a black sheep. Regardless, in 1999, it was undoubtedly one of the best JRPGs ever released. Number 3. 
Number 3, Final Fantasy Anthology. I'm gonna cheat here and include two games in one spot. After all, they come together in this port for the PlayStation. I already covered the masterpiece that is Final Fantasy VI, which is why it made it to number 3 today. And hands down to this version, as it is the one I played first and finished. Anthology also includes Final Fantasy V, seeing the western light for the very first time. Its original release on the Super Famicom never made it here, so it was thanks to this version that the rest of the world finally played this underrated game. Number 2. Star Ocean The Second Story The only action RPG in this list, while everything else is turn-based. Interesting, huh? Star Ocean 2 was a confusing game because, as the title implies, it appeared to be a sequel. The first one was released on the Super Famicom only in Japan, until its Western release several years later on the PSP. Either way, this was a standalone title and a fantastic RPG that threw the series into commercial success mainly for its long and well-written story, its engaging battle mechanics, its beautiful soundtrack, and its 86 different endings. Number 1. Suikoden 2 At last, the masterpiece, the best JRPG of 1999. The one that lay dormant during many years until fans dug it up and spread the word of its brilliance. Rough translation and poor marketing made it fail at first, with its limited print run making it years later a very rare game. Suikoden 2 took over the awesomeness of its predecessor and did everything completely better. Its three different battle systems were fantastic, its longer and deeper story was fantastic too, its soundtrack, interface, graphics... I swear, I will never get tired of praising this overwhelmingly great JRPG. This year was simply amazing. So many icons in their own franchises that are tragically dead. But at least they all saw the light in the West, becoming the best JRPGs of 1999. It is the end of a decade, the end of the 90s. So let's go prepare for the new millennium, the new century, when the PlayStation 1 and all of its competitors were still holding the torch. I'll see you then in the year 2000.